Hey everyone, another good news today. Actually, it was yesterday. Nvidia just released the 545 series driver in beta mode. And I've been playing with them for 24 hours now. I think we need to talk about it. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. Six months ago, I was recording a video about the experience for the NVIDIA user on Wayland. And I was explaining like in the big line how NVIDIA was not doing the job with Wayland and how disappointed I was because yes, I own a 4090 RTX and it's super frustrating not to be able to use the display protocol of the future, aka Wayland. So you have to understand how excited I was when I read this patch note. This patch note kind of like woo, motivate me like to, to another level because uh, of various reasons. X11 is doing the work, is doing the job, but I'm pretty sure Wayland is going to be a different beast when we're going to have the opportunity to make it work as we want. So let's get into the patch note and then I'm going to show you exactly what, what it's all about. So I'm going to give you a link in the description below toward the download page of those drivers because you're going to be able to get them, but also read this patch note in detail. And I won't be able to cover all of it because what happened is like I did it, I recorded it and the video was 35 minutes long because I went from point to point and explained exactly what will happen in the future with all of the points. Well, long story short, we have patch which are correcting like the management of the color, which is a great direction toward like the, the gamma uh, management and also like uh, the future HDR coming to Wayland for Nvidia. That's, that's an awesome point. You have also some patches related to the way the Nvidia installer run, which is huge because now you don't have to uninstall the driver before reinstalling them, if I understand it correctly. So this, this could be big for all the users who do it manually using the dot run from their website. It, it's just going to be a game changer in terms of quality of life. There is also a really important point toward uh, the virtual reality display. So all the, you know, like the Steam VR top of platform and everything, they should be compatible with Wayland right now which is big for all the virtual like gamers out there. So that, that's, that's a good one. And the one which is, in my opinion, like the, the most important is the management of G-Sync. They finally unlock variable refresh rate on Wayland with NVIDIA. And this is what we're going to be focusing on uh, in the next part of the video, because to me, like this is the, the biggest one, right? If you have multiple monitors or if you have just one monitor running G-Sync, is it finally working with NVIDIA? So you know me, guys, I had to install a fresh distro of Linux and I went with Cache OS, which is an arch based uh, Linux with a lot of improvements. I, I never tried it before. And I have to say I was pretty pleased by it. So let me know in the comment below if you want me to, to give you a full review. But yeah, that was pretty fun, I have to say. So what I did in order to really test those drivers, I wanted to have like different desktop environment. So obviously I did install KD Plasma uh, on Wayland and then I did install Hyperland because Hyperland run on Wayland. So you run on Wayland root, whatever. Like I don't want to get into too technical, but I wanted to see if it works. Don't ask me if I tested it on GNOME because after my experience on Ubuntu with GNOME, I'm not ready to install GNOME for, for a long time. So the thing is like I had to record it with my phone because there is a limitation towards the usage of VRR on my setup because I run like three different monitors and you will see why. So I'm, I'm going to show you the video with the commentary. Uh, you're going to see if it works or if it doesn't work and, and, and then I'm going to I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. Here we are. Kwin with Wayland and KDE Plasma with the latest uh, driver from Linux 545. So as you can see, I only have like one of my uh, display going on here. And what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to show you if uh, G-Sync, aka VRR, is actually working 
uh, in Linux with the latest driver. So if I go there and I tap VR test, press enter. Here at the top, you're going to see the actual FPS and the target FPS, and there is an option called fluctuate. So I'm going to activate it, and you will see the FPS on paper. They should be all over the place. So I'm going to go a little bit lower, around 200, and you will see like the FPS are going to fluctuate all around, okay? Like 260, 240. And now I'm going to activate the HUD here. And you see, the refresh rate is actually adapting depending on how much FPS I have on the other side. So G-Sync is actually working. And you can see the image quality. I don't know if you can see on the phone, but it's, it's pretty decent. Um, it's a 270 hertz monitor. And I'm telling you, like my camera here on my phone is like trash. But you got the idea, like, this is working. Now, uh, let's, let's try another case scenario. So we were, so just to verify, we were in 1440p, 270 hertz. And here I was in uh, automatic for the adaptive sync. The good news is like all my monitor here, they have uh, G-Sync on them. So I'm going to enable another one. So which one? I think it's going to be the one on the left. Here we go. It's on. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to rerun the test, knowing that I have both of them with um, Adaptive V-Sync, Adaptive Sync, sorry, enabled. So I relaunch VR test. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to lower uh, the target FPS and I'm going to make it fluctuate. And as you can see right away, uh, we have like some type of bug graphic. And I think this is related to the driver or maybe uh, Wayland. I don't know. Some, something is wrong in the way multi-screen is enabled right now with NVIDIA. And if I press here, I'm going to double check. And you can see it's not moving at all. Refresh rate is not moving while FPS here are like crazy moving. Okay, so, and on top of that, we have graphical glitch. So, so there is some work to do, huh? Still. <laughs> And right now I'm on Hyperland. Here we go. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the VRR test. So sorry for the light. Okay, yeah, it's better there. So I'm going to run the VRR test. If everything is correctly working, you should see the refresh rate moving at the same time. And as you can see, it is not. So to give you an idea of the configuration here, hyper control monitor, you can see that I did activate the VRR on this screen. But even if it's activated, it won't go through no matter what. So that's the, that's the learning we have on Hyperland. On Hyperland, Wayland right now, well, it's a no-go. Even with the latest driver, so just for you to see, we are running the latest beta driver, the 5.45. It just does not work for whatever reason. Now you have seen those wonderful recording uh, with my crazy cell phone, which is like almost 10 years old. Sorry about that again. But there is still a lot of issues that I didn't go through through the test. And I need to mention them. First one is that some of the games, they wouldn't invest, even start. So obviously I use this little software called VRR test, but I also tested some game and I tested Valheim because it has a, a native version. And this is what I was really focusing on. Native Linux version to see how it would work within Wayland. Because if I use something uh, which is not native running through Wine, it will add a new layer like of translation, and I'm not sure X Wayland will be supported right off the bat within those drivers. 
just focusing on Linux native right now, some of the games they wouldn't even launch. And I do believe it's because of the driver itself, they need to work on it. But if you go on their website, you will see that they have a special disclaimer for the Wayland information for the this specific release. And they go through all the driver limitation and all the Wayland protocol or compositor limitation. So now we're gonna enter a phase where we know what is blocking on one hand for NVIDIA and what they need to work on. And I'm going to give you the link in the description below if you want to go deeper into it. And on the other hand, you're going to have what is actually blocking, but from the Linux dev type of approach. I think it's going to be interesting to see what's going on. One thing I really hope they're going to be working on after fixing like G-Sync is uh, the tiering option. Because through my test, I was trying to see if tiering was on or off. And because I couldn't launch Counter-Strike 2, I couldn't really tell in terms of latency if the tiering was on or off. And this is really something I, I would like to test. So to date, I can't give you an answer towards that. And I really hope that, that they're going to fix this. Uh, and another one I'm, I'm thinking right now out of the bat is the multi-monitor like variable refresh rate. So you, you saw the result of my testing just before. I know on Windows, you can have the variable re refresh rate on on all the display. And if you want to have like one game running on one, it will still be working. And I was kind of like disappointed by the fact that on paper, everything is on on Linux, but it, it wouldn't work on the screen, which has full, sc full screen mm, working. So I know on X11 it was not possible, but I really hope that Wayland is going to move forward and, and make it work. I think technically it's possible. How long is it going to take? Eh. And uh, yeah, the last one would be uh, the NVIDIA settings. I, I would love to have them back into uh, Wayland because right now they are just not, not as good. So guys, you get the idea, right? Like we are at the beginning of... NVIDIA changes toward the way they want to improve their graphic driver on Linux. And to me, this is the beginning of a game-changing situation. I'm, I'm not mashing my world. I'm, I'm literally telling you, this could be huge. It's going to depend on how fast they're going to be able to move forward. And if they are going to actually help the dev team of Wayland to make it work. And that only time will tell. But the outcome of this little testing for me is super, super positive. My perception is like NVIDIA is maybe not the best ethical company out there. Okay, let's be clear. Might not be. But if they want it to work on Linux and if we want to take advantage of our graphic card on Linux, Guys, they are the, the only hope because, you know, their drivers are closed and looking at them going in the right direction for the consumer is great. Like, I really hope they're going to start to accelerate the move. If I remember correctly, for the last, like, one month and a half, we had, like, three or four releases of driver of NVIDIA. We had this beta there. They also released, like, one or two versions of the Vulkan driver, and they also release a version of the 5.35. So I, I don't know what's going on out there, but it seems that they are willing to accelerate the dev. And man, it's going to be great for all the consumers and all the NVIDIA owners out there. My bet today, we are uh, in October 2023. I think we are the 18th today when I'm recording this video. My bet is in six months, six months, guys, we're going to have a fully functional NVIDIA card within Wayland. And the only limitation will be, you know, like the, the basic stuff, like, for example, like what AMG is encountering on a daily basis, like new game, etc., etc. But we're going to arrive at a point where 
all the NVIDIA users might be able to switch to Wayland. And this will be great. That's it, that's all. I hope I didn't get too technical, but yeah, it is really good. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget uh, to give a thumbs up to this uh, video if you liked it, to subscribe to the channel, and if you want to support the channel financially, uh, you can become a YouTube member or a Patreon member. I want to thank you again, all uh, the subscribers, all the members of YouTube and Patreon. Guys, thank you very much. Without you, the show and the video will not be there at all. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, as always, bisous, bisous. Man, you know, you know what I should do? Now I'm thinking about it. You know what I should do? I should do a Linux challenge for one month where I'm just running Wayland and see like, you know, driver update after driver update where we are going. That, that will be a good one. Huh? I will think about it.